Bande Guru Pada Dandam Bhakta Binda Samanitam Sri Chaitana Prabhu Bande Nitananda Sahoditam Sri Nanda Nanda Nanga Bande Radhika Charana Dayam Gopi Jano Samayuktam Binda Banamanu वान शाकल पतरु वश्य के पास इंदु बेवश पतितानं पामुने भवश्ना बेभ्यो नमो नमः मुकं करो तिवाचालं पंगुं लं हैत गिदिन जत की पातम हंग बंदे परमानंद माधवं ब्रिंदावि तुसिदे भई पियावि केशव सच Shna Bhakti Pade Devi Shatta Bhattvai Namo Namah Narayana Namaskitta Narunchaiva Narottama Devin Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayo Mudire Sankirtane Kishna Patho Pudesh Gauriya Patrasya Prakasanecha Sadhanurakta Guru Bhakti Yukta Bhakti Pramodaksh Jagod Varanu Deyam Sada Paribhavagnam Avishtadu Tethas Padam Siva Verantanutam Saranya Betati Hum Panotopal Bhavati Bhutam Bande Mahapurusati Charna Vindam Yat Pada Chataya Bispuriji Takuma Pika Vodu Shuadarshi Purna Nuragara Sasagara Sara Murti Sara Dikama Ikada Tantosi Sri Krishna Jaitana Prabhunita Nam Siyad Jaita Vada Harasiva Sadi Gaura Bhaktavin Sri Krishna Jaitana Prabhunita Nam Siyadvaita Vada Adhara Siva Sati Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Ajanulambita Bhujav Kanaka Bodhato Shankirtana Kapitaro Kamala Jatakshu Visham Baru Dijavaro Jugadhar Mapalo Bande Jagat Priya Karu Karuna Bhutaru Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Namami Gange Tavapadi Pankajam Sura Surair Vandito Di Parupam Bhukti Incha Mukti Incha Dada Sinitam Bhavan Rupe Naranam Ganga Taranga Ramani Ajata Kalapam Gauri Nirantara Vibushi Tabam Bhagam Narayana Priyamananga Mada Paharam Marana Sipurapati Hajavi Shanatham Bhagi Sajusu Badani Lakshmi Jasya Chabakshashi Yasya Stehida Sambhi Tvam Nishinga Maham Bhaji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Tanyama Rupa Charita Di Sukirtananu 
स्मृता कमीन रसना मनुषी नियोज तिष्ठन व्रजे तदनुरागी जनागामी कालम नैद अखिलम इतिपदेश सारम तन्याम रूपचरितादि सुकीर्तना स्मृत्वा कमीन रसना मनुषी नियोज तिष्ठन व्रजे तदनुरागी जनागामी कालम नैद अखिलम इतिपदेश सारम गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एक्चुअल कृष्ण सेवा हाउ वी कैन गेट दैट एक्चुअल कृष्ण सेवा हाउ वी कैन गेट दैट गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एक्चुअल हरी हरी कृष्ण सेवा हाउ वी कैन गेट दैट प्रोपर स्पीकिंग दैट कृष्ण डिवोटिस गुरु बाय गुरु वैष्णव सेवा ओनली दैट कैन अप्राकृत कृष्ण सेवा वी कैन गेट दो कृष्ण डिवोटिस आर देयर प्रोपर स्पीकिंग दो वर कृष्ण डिवोटिस दे आर एक्चुअली गुरु वैष्णव इट मीन्स कृष्ण डिवोटिस मीन्स दिस गुरु प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दिज आर कृष्ण विच वी कॉल्ड दिस कृष्ण डिवोटिस इट मीन्स गुरु वैष्णव जस्ट बाय द सेवा गुरु वैष्णव ओनली दैट एक्चुअल कृष्ण सेवा इज पॉसिबल दोजियाज दो आर माइंड इट इज नॉट एट ऑल दे आर दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट in this in their mind they don't have this kind of option they are always thinking they have that artificially they are just doing the bhagavad naam it means just by their own desire they are doing hari naam artificially and they are just doing the naam smaran naam smaran means that they are doing leela smaran or but it is not at all possible like that so all those sahajiyas inside their mind this kind of things are all the time going they all the time thinking that krishna and to do krishna seva and puja of krishna to worship krishna they have become a very big person and they are thinking such a big personality that they are just become a gopi now they are thinking like that that to do krishna seva and to worship krishna they have become a very big person now that's why they are actually thinking themselves as as they are having a false ego that i am vaishnav oh we are all we are vaishnav we ourselves only who will actually we do so shila bhakti bolo tit ko swami mara always used to speak with a very nice mood and joking mood he used to speak that there is one grasti vaishnav he is a very foolish vaishnav he in his own in his veranda there is one jackfruit there is one jackfruit uh, tree in that where a lot of nice jackfruits were grown and uh, and the wife told that you do one thing you go to you go to the mat and give one jackfruit to in the mat because uh, today is a kadashi and uh, it will be good for bhagavad seva but actually he is a uh, fraudster number 1 he is pakhandi actually he just got what He is speaking. You are only Vaishnav. In Bengali, he is speaking. That you are Vaishnav, and I am Vaishnav. You are Vaishnavi, and this is our child are also Vaishnav. So we are Vaishnav. So why we are actually giving this jackfruit outside? Foolish. So these are actually thinking themselves that they are Vaishnav. <laughs> and ropa actually always used to speak that those who are always thinking uh, themselves as sadhu and vishnav they are all branded a vishnav lot of ropa actually speaking those that i am vishnav they are thinking themselves that i am they got very famous by vishnav name they are actually got branded a vishnav you just need to get away from those people these are those who are branded a vishnav so this is the point 
so they are actually thinking themselves having the false ego that they are Vaishnav and they are actually taking seva from others and they are also taking seva from the seva dasi as well I have lot seen a lot of thing, people who are just taking uh, seva from those dasis means from females they are taking seva they are actually having that false ego of Vaishnav and they are taking seva from others and uh, they are actually thinking themselves they are thinking themselves they are not doing seva of Guru Vaishnav who is Guru Vaishnav? I am the only Vaishnav I am the only Sadhu so who to serve? in Kali Yoga up till what point you will go in Kali Khal? there are different kind of Vaishnavas they are in the Sabha present in the Sabha from the different Vaishnav they are actually that their asana is at the top I was actually surprised to see what is this they are actually just sitting all the Vaishnavas are down and he is on the up so see he is actually just making his asana up and all the Vaishnavas are down Srila Bhakti Vallimar Bhakti Vallabhti Goswami Maharaj even only one inch his uh, asana is up then he will not at all uh, sit there not at all he will sit there he either has to sit uh, down the asan or out of the asan or just uh, don't want to he don't want to sit on that asan which is just a bit inch a one inch up then their Vaishnav so you see so much foolishness is there one time in uh, Panchkula or Chandigarh there is one uh, one uh, Harikatha was arranged there and they just called me but uh, they haven't uh, given me the chance to speak Harikatha okay no worries I actually just seen the arrangement there and I was just got mad to see like there is like a joker which he is doing uh, in the circus what he is doing all kind of foolish activities he has just make one the, the topmost asana is there oh what is this I have haven't seen in this kind of thing in my whole life that is doing going kind of harikatha he is at the topmost asana so what you want to actually prove there that all other Vaishnavas are all low and I am very topmost. You just want to uh, show this, this point. So this is all actually rubbishness, all foolishness it is. They, we just want to throw them out out of Gaudiya Vaishnav society. We just need to throw them out. They are actually just like a spit in Gaudiya Vaishnava. Just like stool and urine they are. But we are actually not at all uh, focusing on this point. All are foolish. They are actually just making their asana on the top. On the top, they are, they are whereas the top of uh, top Vaishnavas are there, very uh, with big age, they are there. But Prabhupada actually speaking that when you are actually thinking themselves is a big Vaishnav and other, he is not at all serving other Vaishnavas like Mayavadi. That I am Swam Ram myself, and why you will do service of Ram? <laughs> I am Brahm himself, so I am Ram himself, myself only. So, who will I serve? I will serve myself only. I am Swayam Ram only. Who will who will I serve? So this kind of vichar is there. So much false ego he has. See. So that's why these people they are actually thinking having that false ego for that they are not at all uh, giving seva to Guru Vaishnava and they are taking seva all the time. They are taking seva. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahap, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Dev Mahaprabhu, his Harikatha and all the Harikatha of Goswami Gan, those who have, have heard, they know that, that Krishna devotees, the Krishna devotees uh, uh, can only become successful by Guru Vaishnav Seva. At that point, that perfect Krishna Seva is possible by serving pure Guru Vaishnav. Krishna devotees just by uh, just by leaving that pure Guru Vaishnav Seva then we are just what uh, we are just thinking that we are doing Krishna Seva then it is not actual Krishna Seva we can just be focused on this point when we are actually have left Guru Seva and Vaishnav Seva we have just left Nam Seva also we have also because Prabhupada speaking that Nam is actually related with this Vaishnav Seva and Guru Seva Prabhupada always used to speak that in those heart Guru Pad Padma and Bhagavan are just giving that one kind of realization he is not getting in his heart they cannot do Harinam 
Harinam and Hari are non different from each other, but we are not getting that realization. Then on his tongue, Harinam, actual Harinam is not at all possible. Guru Vaishnav, Guru Vaishnav and Bhagwan and Harinam is non different from each other. When we are just realizing this point, then then that Harinam definitely will come out of our tongue. Uh, otherwise, it is not possible. So Krishna devotees uh, seva and uh, to pure Guru Vaishnav seva and uh, that is the the kind of Krishna seva uh, thought you are just thinking that is just uh, a rubbish thought. Prabhupada actually speaking those who are Saru Guru Vaishnav Guru Vaishnav seva and they are just leaving their anugatya and they are not at all uh, worrying about that and they are just taking the uh, shelter of Krishna bhajan and Nam bhajan. They are at each and every point they are just getting enrolled in that aparat all the time they are entrapped in that and all the time they are doing aparat each and every step they are doing aparat because nam nam bhajan and vaishnav charan without the seva of guru pure guru vaishnav and without the without guru kripa nobody can do harinam because Nam and Nami are always uh, non different from each other. I have already told a lot of time this point. Those who are uh, not serving pure Guru Vaishnav and they have just left the Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnav. And after that, they are just making uh, uh, that uh, we, they have taken the shelter of Harinam and Krishna, that they are actually number one kapat. They are in their life. Uh, they will not at all get any kind of mangal. Prabhupada speaking that each and every second they are actually doing Vaishnava Aparat. They are actually and when the Aparat is there and that is the topmost uh, sure, surety, it is surety about this point that when Aparat is there, when Anarth is there, Aparat is there, then at that point Krishna Nam or uh, Krishna Seva that is uh, all the same. Krishna Seva or Vaishnav Seva, it cannot be possible. Krishna Nam or Krishna Seva is not at all possible to do when Aparad is there inside our heart. But those who are Sharanagar devotees and they are taken the Anugatya of Guru Vaishnav and they are serving Guru Vaishnav all the time, those who are Sharanagar devotees and they have with their heart, their body, speech, and mind, they are serving pure Guru Vaishnav. Then Guru Krishna Kripa, by that, they only, they will get the actual Krishna Seva and actual Harinam will get on their tongue. I have, there are a lot of situations like this, a lot of incidents at the time of Prabhupada and after Prabhupada also a lot of incidents have happened, which by just by remembering that definitely we will get some, uh, something out of that. It will be very useful for us to remember those incidents. Shila Hayagri Brahmachari Their God brothers they have just requested in front of him that you just would speak Prabhupada that to do one lakh harinam it is not at all possible because whole day is actually going uh, down in seva only so how to do one lakh harinam you just give a request in front of Prabhupada then Hayagri Brahmachari actually they are actually requesting him that would you go in front of Prabhupada and speak this point to Prabhupada and he was just giving some fan, hand fan to Prabhupada and Prabhupada was just doing Harinam just by you know, walking there in Bhajan Kuti and uh, Bhagavad Brahmachari Brahma was just giving him hand fan and very softly he is giving and he is actually speaking to Prabhupada in very soft manner what happened he is asked, Prabhupada asking actually if you if you will give me the permission I will speak and Mahagri Brahmachari speaking that actually all our time actually is all going in seva and how to do Manla Karina we can't go get any time to do it is very much uh, next impossible to do Manla Karina then Prabhupada speaking in a very serious mode what you are doing at the night time what you are doing at the night time uh, it means that uh, in the night time you just do Harina after that you sleep not one time lot of time Prabhupada is speaking. Parampujapa Shridhar Goswami Maharaj actually some devotees went to Shridhar Goswami Maharaj and just uh, made a, a remark. It's not a kind of a remark but he is just, just actually just requesting and praying to 
Shri Dhan Maharaj that actually Gurudev speaking to to one lakh Harinam but all that all day actually going in uh, Seva and uh, Gurudev speaking we have to do one lakh Harinam how it is possible then Param Pooja Vasi Redogo Swami Maharaj speaking I just uh, started smiling and speaking that you see we are actually we are doing actually service for what we are doing seva so that definitely that actual aprakrit harinam can uh, dance on our tongue and why we are doing nam so that bhagwan can give us more and more seva so that more and more seva we can get in our life so our main motive to do harinam so that we can get more and more seva and Bhagwan will be just giving more uh, seva to us when he will be happy with us and more attraction will be there towards Krishna and uh, why we are doing seva so that we can just do Harina more and more but Panapuja was Sridhar Goswami Maharaj speaking that you see this uh, Harinam and seva they are no, they are compensating factor to each other they are interrelated to each other if why you are doing Nam for seva why you are doing seva for getting Nam so you are not you don't think a reverse of that you, you go on doing seva and you do go on doing nam bhakti mutakura also speaking speaking this point that in bhajan koti in swanan sukhada kun in godrum it is written bhakti mutakura has just written this point has just given one question to us there it is written that that you all people with your hands and your body all the time you do seva and all the time you with the tongue you are just speak harinam maybe definitely one or the other day you will definitely that actual shuddha harinam will get on to your tongue it means that bhagwan definitely swam will come on to your tongue means in front of you definitely bhagwan will come because we are actually all busy in all the material talkings foolish talkings all we are actually talking with others you just have this kind of survey have this thinking in your mind if you are actually not having confidence on my talking then you just have a survey that all in the mud they are actually all the time they are speaking in the mud out of that how much how much they are speaking rubbish talking and how much it is important important means what is actually related to krishna and krishna seva you just give me the proof regarding that lot of uh, time back we were 50 to 60 years back there was there is one survey in that survey we have just noticed in america in telephone exchange they have just survey what is that is word which is used more you know, people are talking a lot of times in mobile and uh, before that when mobile was not there they were just talking a lot about material talking they rubbish talking they do they have just surveyed that we and my this word is more used countless times if we uh, i i we and me i and my i and my this kind of two words are used a lot so you just make a survey in the mud also that they are just like to what are the actually important talkings they are doing and what are actually the material talkings they are doing all the time they are all the time busy in that only and these material talkings all the the time is actually going away and we are just wasting our time so Shridhar Goswami Maharaj is speaking you actually don't feel bad about this you go on doing seva and just don't go on doing harinam bhakti not akuram also doing just on the tongue you just do harinam don't stop that and with your hands and body you just do seva by just getting this kind of vichar that is the actual seva so we have to do maybe definitely in the coming time that actual Shuddha Harinam can come on your tongue. Shirdar Goswami Maharaj also has spoken this same point only. This is actually compensating factor to each other. But uh, definitely in any condition you don't need to leave Harinam. Uh, what whosoever is coming to me, I am just speaking only one point to them. Then while you are driving any car, while whatever you are doing in your life, whatever you are doing the kitchen you are going on the footpath or you are walking you don't need to stop your harinam by this harinam only you definitely they will get that fruit our accident then the accident they met with that then they were just protected by that you don't uh, forget harinam that is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu and our Govind Maharaj that which is actually all they already left the body of Vinodvani everyone has gone now they actually at that point of time 
they were actually not that much uh, of old age they actually just went to krishna's baba ji maharaj just to take one uh, indication from them that uh, gurudev actually speaking that you have to do one lakh arena that is the actual uh, instruction of prabhupada so when to do one lakh arena we don't have any time to do only one question is there that is the same question krishna's baba ji maharaj has given a very nice answer and very nice answer krishna's baba ji maharaj giving they just actually speaking to this child they just called sit all they are actually child of baba ji maharaj so baba ji maharaj speaking that oh child all the child you just sit down what what is the actual point actually we actually are not at all going to do harinam prabhu madhav goswami maharaj told to do one lakh harinam and we are not at all getting time to do harinam and maharaj ji actually just started smiling and speaking that you see you are doing seva for what purpose how you are doing seva seva you are doing by hands only no so you are doing with the by with your hands you are doing seva so when you are doing seva karo mukhe ki karo krishna baba ji maharaj krishna baba ji maharaj very nicely speaking that you are what you are doing by tongue you are doing with hands your seva what you are doing by tongue oh yes actually why you are actually not speaking anything and why you are to talking material talkings that at that time what is the actual uh, rules and regulations of those pandas they are actually doing uh, in jagannath they are actually closing their uh, nose and mouth everything so that whatever kitchen is do- of that uh, jagannath is going on so that even a scent should not go inside their nose so what you are doing now we are actually just doing something and uh, uh, you are just doing the seva by hands what you are doing by uh, tank what you are doing by mouth you have to do harinam yeah, that that actually a nice point so we have to do harinam while you are just washing clothes while doing kitchen while you are taking bathing why definitely vanla karina will be done yes yes that is the point so that is the actual instruction of gurudev to do vanla karina maybe over vanla karina can be done gurudev have told you na that you just need to count karina and just like that you have to do gurudev just spoken you have to do vanla karina so that when you will do like this then gurudev what have told it will be there and you just go on with your tongue you should do with your hari krishna hari krishna you just to give up one survey in that definitely you will get more than one lakh hari naam krishna baba ji maharaj what to do he is actually just giving this kind of vichar to all those children so but mahaprabhu has just instructed us like this because there is actually no fault in rashna what they can do definitely they get some uh, sleeping while doing hari naam and they are actually just getting all the material talkings so this kind of at least they have to do more than mala karina but mahaprabhu has not instructed us like that mahaprabhu actually speaking here on this talking there is a very nice point mahaprabhu has instructed that you have to count karina you have to do one lakh harinam now he will become very much uh, disturbed by this that how to do that that to do do one lakh harinam lot of time will go off when you will know it's not like that when the person is just getting into the ocean of uh, naam then very very less time you will get to do harinam when you will get the naam prabhu kripa definitely you will be able to do harinam one lakh so mahaprabhu has told that you just need to count harina manchester to do like that that's why in shadugo swami has to come also it is written there that's why in shadugo swami has to come it is written there if rup sanatan we are actually thinking them as a guru varga then why we will actually speaking like this that just by counting you don't need to do harinam but krishna's kaviraj goswami has told you see you just go on doing harinam maybe some actual harinam will definitely come on bhakti mata guru also speaking because what to do he can't do like that so this is the point that guru vishnu seva under the guidance of gurudev whatever the instructions are given by gurudev that to do guru vishnu seva we are doing and on to their tongue that actual hari naam definitely is coming by krishna seva they are actual actual krishna seva they are doing those who are krishna devotees they are actually serving guru vishnu seva those who have that respect and priti for guru vishnu seva for them 
श्री चैतन्य देव एक्चुअली एंड वैष्णो देव कृपा डेफिनेटली विल कम टू देम दे विल गेट दैट कृपा व्हाट प्रोपर दैट टोल्ड दैट कृष्ण भक्त एंड डिवोटीज दैट कृष्ण डिवोटीज दो और गुरु वैष्णो हिमसेल्फ दे आर जस्ट बाय दोस हु हैव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर दोस सेवा फ्रॉम इनसाइड देयर हार्ट दे हैव रिस्पेक्ट दिस इज नॉट अ काइंड ऑफ अ Uh, false thinking. They have with full priti. They are actually want to serve Guru Vishnu. Then definitely these people will definitely get delivered. And Sri Krishna Jee Dhanay Mahaprabhu and Shri Guru Swami, that kripa will definitely be bestowed on them. They will definitely get that kripa. Prabhupad in this whole life has just told one story. Prabhupad has just told one story of in his life. What kind of story? That when. this kind of vichar i have in my life proper speaking that just in the master mathematics also in the shastra there is one big pandit actually i just want love mathematics so that's why i am just giving example in the darshan shastra in philosophical uh, vichar this uh, i also used to this i have a lot of uh, ruchi in that He, there is one person he has a maha pandit when this kind of vichar that it is uh, going from my heart when it is this kind of vichar actually going from my heart in in that instant immediately i have just got a darshan of that paramhans acharya and and gurudev this paramhans gurudev i have just got the darshan and my whole i am a very big mathematician i am a big pandit for mathematics and whatever my purity morality and punctuality and my knowledge ship all and all panditya and proficiency everything just gone into dust particle everything gurudev has just got into water dust particle my gurudev just has just uh, Uh, proved in front of me that whatever whatever you are you have you just put it in your pocket it has no value you just put it in your pocket it has no value what you whatever panditya and whatever you have in you then i thought that oh yes actually it's right then after that i can realize this point that definitely this is the def- absolute point what gurudev has told me that what is the actual value of all these thing maybe today it is there tomorrow it is not there it is temporary Th- that guru pad padma just giving me one kick and he has just converted my false uh, uh, false mind into ve- a prakrit mind i just want to po- whatever they have just given me a your kick and speaking that oh beta it is not at all nothing is there with me then i understand that yes inside my mind and inside my life i can understand this point that yes i am actually very weak person very weak personality i am a very fallen personality like like a foolish like a fallen and a fallen person like me is not there in this whole material world i just understand that point that day and that is the actual swarup of mine those the i was just thinking that i am a very big panditya whatever morality moral character my punctuality and my knowledge everything no value it has even one rupee is not a value whatever it is in comparison to a prakrit jagat i was actually thinking that i can go for that i was just thinking like a lucrative offer to me but uh, actually in actually it is nothing this mahatma this guru pad padma has just shown me this that uh, all this kind of objects they don't have any value for that no value for that these are all material objects then i can understand this point that this maha vaishnav paramhans vaishnav is uh, what is that uh, topmost uh, valuable uh, object he has that what uh, that uh, valuable which is not at all compared with that anything invaluable object he has that he is actually that he is not at all actually 
thinking of anything else i have just uh, remembering one story regard in uh, connection to this i was just uh, i have just read it in the childhood about uh, of rabindranath tagore i have just taken he has just taken it from our version of like he has taken from the life story or life time life story of sanatan goswami pad sanatan goswami pad actually he was doing uh, bhajan in uh, nirjan bhajan all the time in a very silent mood silent place and one day while doing 84 cross parikrama sanatan goswami pad all the time used to do 84 cross parikrama all the time all the time he just was walking and he was just uh, staying in one uh, tree and if my uh, mind will become impure and he'll be thinking oh this tree is very good is very nice tree uh, definitely there is no kind of heat coming and no rainfall is coming so definitely uh, under this tree i will be staying all the all my life so that's why sanatan rope jeev goes on all the time they were walking because maybe sometimes or other they can just uh, in our life also all these kind of things are happening no that uh, just by walking slowly steadily is something will be doing and something uh, some incident just got happened in our life and sometimes we are just getting our eyes struck with others then all our bhajan is gone huh. all our bhajan is zero everything is zero then everything uh, is going into and you are mine and i am yours so like this kind of relation we just put in this material world it all the time happens so sanatan was my part thinking that no definitely i will not be staying at one place so who can know what my heart will be just going higher and higher way it will become unstable so that's why just go on walking so this is the concept of sanatan was my part and one time what happened that there is one stone he just got a very strange stone sanatan was my part speaking what kind of stone it is i haven't seen it in my whole lifetime this this time of stone i haven't seen so after that it is this stone is actually touch stone that is parshmani oh so nice sanatan goswami maharaj actually what he has done in a very uh, hidden manner he has just taken uh, that uh, touch stone uh, uh, under the under the yamuna so maybe lot of uh, things can incidents can happen and people can kill each other for this stone so that's why it is better to just put it into the sand under the yamuna so that nobody can know about this then this kind of incident why have already already have uh, heard in the childhood this is the actual incident that sanatan goswami he has just all the time was busy in uh, in his bhav and he is all the time doing bhajan and one brahman is there who is is from bardhaman from which place i don't know that but he is from bardhaman district he actually just become very afraid and that my daughter actually i just want to get her marriage done so how to do that how to arrange that because i don't have even a single penny with me so how to do his her marriage and he actually just went to vishwanath that i have just uh, baba you have so heard that you are actually most merciful you are actually kripalu ji maharaj you are merciful to me you just give me some money and all so that i can just uh, arrange some marriage of my daughter where i should go and you are actually bole bandari all the bandari you have with you so this kind of request he has just given to bole baba and bole baba is actually bole baba he is actually so much if you just give him one drop of water to him then you just give him one bel pata oh you have done lot of things to me baba ji bole baba is thinking like this so bole baba just came in dream and you see actually i don't have anything you do one thing you go to vrindavan in vrindavan there is a, in, at madan mohan ghera and near madan mohan temple you just go there one baba is staying his name is sanatan baba and sanatan baba you go to him and definitely he has lot of uh, money he has lot of money he has oh is it okay i will go there then he just made all the arrangements to go to sanatan goswami definitely i'll go to vrindavan then uh, he just paid uh, then went to vishwanath and after that he just went from varanasi to alabad after that he just after uh, he just uh, uh, went to vrindavan all actually he just went to the places and just uh, reached vrindavan and he, sanatan baba is very famous in all the vrindavan chote baba and bade baba big baba and small baba 
like that it is famous in Vrindavan. And then he's asking some Brajwasi actually, which uh, Maharaj, you just go this side and after that you can uh, just meet him there. Okay, he just went there and after he went to meet Baba and he just put Dandavat onto Lotus Feet of Sanatan Baba. Why he have actually come? Baba actually just went because uh, Kashi Vishwanath has just come in the dream and just he's speaking that uh, he just spoken my name. Okay, Sana. And he's speaking that you go to Sanatan Baba, you have lot of, uh, he is actually Nambardar, lot of money and wealth he has. Then and that's why I have just came to, I have money. Oh, Baba speaking. Are you, how actually Baba speaking? I actually don't have anything. May, maybe to, before I have that. If you were, if you will must have come before, I have definitely must have given because you are Brahman. Then Baba actually speaking uh, that I have something that definitely something will be there. Then Sanatana Goswami thinking that Kashi Vishwanath will not speak any rubbish talking. And he is actually Bole Baba. Oh, right, right, right. You just uh, stay here. I will just give you something. Then after that I will give you something. By that all your uh, all your nakedness will, everything will get uh, rid of the, your uh, rid of the nakedness. And he is actually asking that Brahman to come. And you just... Uh, you just uh, you just uh, put off the sand from here, and then after that putting that sand out of that, he just got one stone. And actually, this is a stone, Baba. What I'll do with the stone? And this is not a stone. This is actually touch stone. Who will actually will touch with any object that will become uh, become gold? Oh, is it? Yes. And then he just uh, seen it practically, and yes, it is true. Then he is just becoming full of Ananda. Oh, I am full of Ananda. I am just becoming the most richest man. Oh, nobody will be there uh, in front of me. And just by walking, just by running like a mad, he is just going here and there with that stone. And after that, after going some distance, he just stopped and just again come to Baba. And Baba speaking that, why you have come back? And I have actually come back to you because I was just thinking this point. I was just thinking that what kind of sampatti you have, what kind of wealth you have. Definitely you must be having that wealth. That's why this kind of topmost jewel, this stone in this whole material we are not finding. You are just throwing it like stool and urine. So Rabindranath Thakur has just written this. We have just heard in their childhood. So this kind of uh, Brahman, so this Brahman actually is thinking, he has just uh, given this point, Rabindana Thakur is just writing on his consent, is it's like that, that Brahman is speaking to Sanatana Goswami, at which wealth, by getting that wealth, this kind of normal wealth is just like stool and urine to us. This wealth, it is just like normal. Nothing is that. That that sampatti I want. That kind of wealth I want. Otherwise, I don't want any wealth. That he just, after that, he just throw that uh, uh, touchstone into Yamuna. Then he just throw that stone into Yamuna. Then the news will have spread all over the all the direction, all four directions. The news was also spreaded, and even Akbar, King 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 Akbar also just thinking that actually definitely it is useful for me. Baba is not at all useful for me. <laughs> what Baba is useful for me? This stone is useful for me. So where actually he has just thrown that? Okay, in Yamuna. Okay, no problem. He has just made all the all the persons who were actually divers in the water. He has just uh, arranged all them, all of them, and just. Uh, uh, be finding that touchstone but they are not at all actually uh, finding that touchstone because at that time the uh, spread of Yamuna was so much the flow of Yamuna is very much but now today actually Yamuna actually is we are not at all finding it why because so much sinful activities are actually doing and because of those sinful activities this Yamuna's uh, Ganga and Saraswati will not at all remain and Govardhan will also not uh, remain in this material world definitely they will get vanquished after some times because of sinful activities of the people this will not stay at all after that akbar Bacha, the king akbar 
they are thinking they he just uh, uh, has concluded that this actually is not a false thing because this uh, touch stone they have given lot of efforts just to find a touch stone but they haven't got that touch stone this is the actual desire of krishna you don't want but when this anchor of uh, anchor of that ship when they just uh, put off then they see they show that that it is converted to gold so then akbar king akbar is uh, thinking that definitely this point is true that the touch stone was there but today actually people are thinking that this is all useless this is not at all useless is all those scientists also have just uh, concluded this point and discovered that this is 100% possible if uh, this kind of stone is there in our life by that uh, by the actual effort of that stone all the molecular structure of that uh, iron it is just becoming equal to the atomic structure of the gold if it is just converted to that then definitely everything can be done in that if the if degradation is possible like uranium polonium uranium plutonium all these kind of radioactive materials these are very expensive radioactive materials in the in the periodic table in the metal these metals have their degradation is possible and by just degradation they are just getting uh, converted to a lower elements it is possible like that if if higher element is degradation is possible and they are just converted to lower element then from lower element to higher element how it is not possible it is definitely possible so this touch stone actually it is not false this is definitely a true point that this in touch stone so much capability is there so much capacity is there of the touch stone then definitely whatever the atomic structure of that metal or iron it is just uh, converted to the similar atomic structure of the gold so it is possible for this stone so for the king gagbar also he is actually finding this this is actually actually the stone is there but because by the desire of krishna he is not at all finding that stone so like this slowly steadily we have just seen that Prabhupada actually speaking and Prabhupada started speaking that in my life there is one turning point in my life actually he is a nitya parshad of bhagwan but still he is just showing us that that turning point has just come in my life that whatever i have just got that costly and invaluable thing in my mind in my life but uh, apart from harinam nothing is more invaluable and costly and then i have just made a vichar in my life that that in front of me what that mahapurush is standing in front of me he actually he is actually merciful or he is a fraudster because when he is a fraudster then oh what you have you just give me i don't have anything at all so inside my heart actually this which are just came that whether he that this mahapurush is a fraudster that is so much educated big educated person has just come in front of him and still he don't uh, he is actually not paying any attention to him there is no kind of attention given to him maybe he is actually having lot of false ego he has or otherwise definitely he is a paramhans this kind of question coming in my mind then at that point with a very merciful mood and with very humble mood i just take at prayer prayerful attitude at the lotus feet of krishna what is the actual reality you just show me what is actually reality you just show me thakur ji that i am in confusion now that inside my heart this kind of uh, uh, question and answers reasons are coming the abbreviations are coming in my mind what is actually right and what is wrong and just by the krip of bhagwan i can just understand that this kind of nishkinchan sadhu that nishkinchan mahaprabhu paramans vaishnav without the seva of his this vaishnav there is no actually pathway to get mangal in our life there is no other pathway open for me to just serve this pure paramans vaishnav when i just got that uh, subuddhi that when my mind just got purified by this point then after that that i just got the ashray shelter of uh, shri gurudev 
and with full shraddha when that adho shraddha i just got that then i just become the top most luckiest person of this world when this kind of uh, kick i haven't got from guru guru pad padma and shri guru pad padma paramans guru vaishnav uh, in front of them that i have haven't got that kick from them then definitely it will take a lot of time to become a pure guru vaishnav a pure vaishnav that in this whole uh, material earth this kind of kicking for each and every person and bonded jeeva should be there it is essential to get that each and every person of this material world each and every jeeva this kind of kick should be there if it is he is not getting that kick then definitely his consciousness will not get developed at all his chetna his degree of consciousness will not uh, get incremented that's why propad actually speaking that this is the actual realization point what i am speaking in front of you so that in front of everyone with a very humble mood i am just uh, praying on to lotus feet of everyone that uh, whatever whosoever are there in this material world in this whole earth i am the most fallen person you are not at all most no, you don't become more fallen than me you don't become more foolish than me i am the most foolish of all you don't uh, you make your arrangements of becoming foolish like me you don't measure anything you don't measure guru vishnu no measurement is required for guru vishnu don't do like me you go on just serving guru vishnu and that vaikunth vani that vaikunth katha you just go on speaking you just go give attention on to that vaikunth katha you just become so topmost then apart from you nobody will be there you will become the topmost because that aprakrit jagat that transcendental vaikunth vani just go go on doing hari naam hari kirtan then apart from you nobody will be more uh, uh, luckier than you that is the actual uh, prayer on to your lotus feet i have i am actually by bhagwat kripa by guru vishnu kripa whatever we have just understood and realized that the topmost param mangal we have just got in our life that definitely this param mangal also i am speaking in front of you i don't want to just make you foolish you don't think like this that i am just give making you foolish i am not at all here to just make you foolish but i am i am speaking a absolute truth in front of you i am just speaking the real incident of my life in front of you the what i have realized in my life that shri krishna naam is such a object that you can can't even imagine that that is a divya topmost diamond jewel in my life that is a topmost jewel that kali pavan shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu he is in in navadvip has just manifested his leela there and he has just taken avatar there in navadvip up and just taken the krishna avatar so much merciful this kind of krishna naam not even in future not not even in present or not even in future in the whole human civilization haven't got and never in the future it will happen like that right? this kind of donation of this hari naam mahaprabhu has given us then our heart will become happy but why to do we don't have any time to do kirtan all actually rubbish we don't have any time for whole material things we have time but for kirtan we don't have time so nice kirtan it is 
you will just get uh, absorbed in all this. We just do this kirtan for one time, then definitely we will go absorbed in this kirtan. Oh, so much anand is there in this kirtan. In this Kali Kal, without Harinam, there is no other way to get out of that. There is no other pathway open. Only in Kali Kal, Harinam is that definitely is there. No other pathway is open for us apart from Harinam. This Mahaprabhu has just uh, told us and uh, he has just told us. So just understand this point. A lot of things you have done in your life. Just stop everything. You just think of this. That without Harinam, nothing is there. Everything is Harinam. In the Kirtan it is written. Who will do Kirtan? No time is there. <laughs> Nobody has time and definitely they have time to go to hell. Full time they have. Open time. In Punjab. Mahaprabhu. This is the instruction of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, this is the actual instruction of Mahaprabhu. In that Punjabi people also, in Ropad, he is actually speaking to me that you should give a open time to us. In this small time we are not at all getting this uh, calm. So after that, in Batinda, that Katha was started, then he just went to Vrindavan. Then I was just laugh, started laughing that I have just done Katha in Batinda for one month, three, four days. And now he actually want to go to Vrindavan now. Now you see what, the, what is the thing. He just want to go to Vrindavan. <laughs> I was just started laughing and I just started laughing. He actually speaking. Actually, we need a lot of time, open time for that, for Harikatha. After that, he just went to Vrindavan. Then what to do, Maharaj, actually, this is the actual instruction of all the people. Okay, you go, die there. <laughs> what you will do to go to Vrindavan and do? So, Mahaprabhu actually just instructed everyone. All the time. Mahaprabhu instructed this on his own, this point. That Mahaprabhu has told this point on his own. And in the Nadia Gram, in Nadia Gram, that Nadia Vihari Hari, Gaur Hari, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, when at with Nityanand Prabhu and Haridas Thakur also, he has that Nadia Vihari Gaur Hari. He is actually instructing Haridas Thakur and Nityanand Prabhu about the glorification of Haridam and for preaching that glorification of Haridam to everyone. He has just instructed them to do that. So what kind of instruction you see? What? Each, in, each and every house you just need to do Bhiksha. What kind of Bhiksha? Like this Mahaprabhu told. You just speak Krishna. You have, uh, you can remember this point, no? It is already written Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya Giritamri. That each and every house, Haridas Thakur and Nityanand Prabhu, they, he has instructed just given this kind of instruction to them. When Din at the end of the day, you just need to give me the uh, news that what has happened today. And just in order by taking the instruction of uh, Prabhu, Mahaprabhu, just by taking the instruction of Mahaprabhu, Haridas Thakur and Nityanand Prabhu just went to each and every place. In each and every house they have just went and just speaking the Nam Prabhu glorification of Harinam. That my Prabhu's instruction is to do Krishna Nam. Thank you.
Mahaprabhu that is actual instruction of Mahaprabhu that each and every house you just need to go and instruct about Harinam. And Mahaprabhu after taking before uh, the first day of Sanyas, just by taking the darshan of devotees and he is actually speaking all and at that last he is speaking. When the first day he is speaking and after the next day morning, Mahaprabhu actually, he is actually thinking to go to Katwa. And he, Mahaprabhu has just uh, uh, instructed us. Mahaprabhu has just uh, shown to all the devotees. By just one Nama Bhas, all kind of sinful activities are destroyed. Like, like the case of Ajamil. All kinds of sinful activities were destroyed. So you see, all kind of dosh of paap sinful activities will get destroyed. And there is another Naam, that actual Shuddha Naam is coming, you will just get, it, get the lotus feet of Krishna. So nice actually, Mahaprabhu has told us, in each and everywhere. We are not. Mahaprabhu has from the Abhirbhava of Mahaprabhu up till before Abhirbhava also Mahaprabhu. When Mahaprabhu was going to take Abhirbhava, at their the whole population of Navdhu, they are speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. By that Prabhava only, that who hasn't taken even one single Harinam in his whole life, for him also, that he's also started speaking Harinam. And he's just going to the Ganga and just by, uh, by taking uh, that today's lunar eclipse. So definitely they are all feeling Anand because Bhagwan is actually Anandamai. He is externally present as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in front of him. They are unaware of that. So that's why Mahaprabhu told that you see that what all kind of dosh of sinful activity definitely will get destroyed by Namavas. And when that actual Shuddha Harinam will come onto your tongue, you will definitely get the lotus feet of Krishna. In uh, present Bangladesh, to pre previously it was India only. There, Tapan Mishra, he, Mahaprabhu is actually giving this kind of instruction to Tapan Mishra. When Tapan Mishra he was unaware of this point that what is Sadhan Sadhya Tattva and he was in confusion for that and uh, in the uh, one dream actually in the morning he is sitting he is actually watching Are you want to know the Sadhya Sadhan Tattva you go to that Nimai has come here that is Paratpara Kileshwar Sakshat Bhagwan. you just go to him and just ask him the instructions then Tapan Mishra then Tapan Mishra just went to Mahaprabhu and he's asking to Mahaprabhu about Sadhan Sadhan Tattva. Then Mahaprabhu just instructed, instructed uh, Tapan Mishra. Mahaprabhu has just uh, told himself. It means that Sadhan Sadhan Tattva, whatever you want to get in this life, what you should get, the actual thing, definitely everything you will get. In this Kali Yuga, this Mahaprabhu has told himself, that Sadhan Sadhan Tattva, what is the in-depth analysis of Sadhan Sadhan Tattva, the in-depth vichara of Sadhan Sadhan Tattva, whatever is there, that Sadhan Sadhan Tattva, whatever, all Sadhan Sadhan Tattva, Sadhya Sadhan Tattva, everything you can get by Harinam, everything you will get that by Harinam. This is the actual point that whatever we have told that Diksha, Purushchara and I have already just told this point previously also. That Naam has so much of effect that so much glorification is there that Diksha, Purushchara is also not equal to them but we should get to that level first. Mahaprabhu has told it rightly that Harinam is Swayam Bhagwan. So
so when what kind of confidence we have apart from that that if we are speaking that we have confidence on harinam after diksha without that harinam can't do anything this is actually wrong to speak harinam is not at all dependent on anyone harinam is actually not at all having any confidence on everyone harinam itself is hari it means complete so which on what uh, on the so arena will not at all have any confidence on anyone because it is not dependent on anyone so whatever there is sadhya sadhan tattva it is actually done by all by a naam sankirtan even you don't need any kind of diksha and purush charan when you are just getting into that condition that naam and naami are non different from each other and after that not like one point where where mahaprabhu has gone whether in the south india mahaprabhu going and just preaching naam sankirtan there and is just speaking while going to south india speaking like this mahaprabhu just walking in the south india and just speaking like that why mahaprabhu speaking like that what is the reason for that there is one very nice uh, point when actually before going to south india he speaking krishna krishna he speaking like mahaprabhu just speaking like this and going why because there is one hidden uh, uh, hidden point behind this that that this whole south india is actually just covered by maya all by mayavadi kshetra it is they are vaishnav but they are actually mayavadi more mayavadi are there all four directions that's why जंगल और इन दॉरेस्ट यू आर इन प्रॉब्लम इन फॉरेस्ट एंड यू आर इन जंगल then ram ragav because the ram chandra ji maharaj has just went to the forest no so whatever the problem in there in the forest you just need to call ram this not this ram is not balram when you are actually speaking balram it's all the ram that all the same but still at when you are going to the jungle or in the forest all jeeva actually each and every jeev they are even the beast and birds all the stavar jangam they are just getting that krishna naam they are like mahaprabhu just actually preach the hari naam in front of them haridas thakur haridas thakur ji the actual uh, vyakha what he has done that is the actual meaning of that we can just think of this point like that that for each and every one uh, everyone has the right to get uh, hari naam uh, prabhu has just given the capacity to each and every one to just to take the hari naam and mahaprabhu during that going to charikhand there oh you speak krishna you speak hari naam you all oh, lion or oh, tiger you speak krishna naam and after that all actually all the uh, beasts the birds and beast are all the time just taking krishna naam it is already written in kirtan as well like this it is written in the kirtan bhakti mat thakur was written and all the kinds of birds beast everyone are actually going with mahaprabhu and all the time they are speaking hari bol and they are just dancing all those trees bushes grass everything at the time of jharikhand when mahaprabhu going to jharikhand all the actually of forest in the forest everyone beast birds and trees mahaprabhu is just giving krishna naam to them and all are actually getting deep into that krishna prem it is written in krishna chaitanya charitamrita that what is that object krishna naam prabhu speaking bhakti no thakur actually speaking this point bhakti no swagu speaking that what is the what is that object krishna naam in order to understand that 
we just need to get the ashray shelter of naam prabhu it is very important what is that object krishna naam in order to understand that like prabhupada actually speaking that gaur ki vastu what is that object gaur bhakti mo tagur actually speaking that krishna naam what is that object krishna what is that object that in a very uh, silent place if we are just taking the shelter of hari naam otherwise we will not be uh, getting the solution whether he is a very big pandit but still he will not find the solution that is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu just by sleeping drinking walking getting up uh, all the time we just need to do naam sankirtan these vedas are also actually glorifying the glorification of hari naam and they are actually not at all giving that uh, uh, 100% consent about hari naam and we are actually definitely we have to just uh, understand the instruction of mahaprabhu and just need to have a solid base for that what mahaprabhu has told to us and we just mahaprabhu told na that we just need to do krishna naam all the time mahaprabhu this is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu to do krishna naam sankirtan all the time so thus for this all the time we just need to remember this point what mahaprabhu has instructed to us it is very very essential and important and we are actually number foolish number 1 we are foolish number 1 that's why we are not at all able to understand this point what that kind of invaluable jewel and treasure we are getting that naam sankirtan we are getting in our life we are actually foolish number 1 we are not at all understanding this point that's why kripa of mahaprabhu we are not able to get that and krishna mahaprabhu has just given kripa on us to just give krishna naam but we are not at all getting that kripa we are not doing hari naam in the in the instruction of mahaprabhu they are just need to have full confidence in that all the time and all the time have that confidence in that and uh, all the time we just need to do krishna naam if he is actually getting that capacity to do krishna naam then definitely he will get everything in his life those kashi washi those those all those sanyasis in the kashi is mahaprabhu why actually have not uh, uh, hearing vedant and this kind of question they put and um, uh, in front of all those mayavadi sanyasis uh, they have just questioned mahaprabhu that why you are actually not hearing vedant what is the actual reason why you are not hearing uh, not hearing vedant then mahaprabhu actually is thinking that they they are having false ego in them mahaprabhu knows that so all those sanyasis of the kashis they actually mahaprabhu is not at all actually why why you are actually not hearing our vedant this kind of question is putting in front of mahaprabhu mahaprabhu actually has just told the actual truth of the naam bhajan the actual truth of the naam bhajan hidden truth why actually you are not hearing vedant so sanyasi speaking then mahaprabhu actually speaking so he has instructed the in front of them mahaprabhu speaking shripad that my gurudev is actually thinking that i am foolish number 1 so he is actually instructed me my gurudev that you don't have that adhikar to you don't have any adhikar in vedant you are foolish you just go on doing krishna bhajan krishna mantra by that is the actual uh, moral of everything by krishna mantra this sansar by this material uh, sansar you will get out of that material misery and after that bhakti no thakur is just speaking that the krishna mahaprabhu speaking that my gurudev has just given me this instruction that krishna mantra krishna naam mantra you just go on doing that that is the actual behavior of krishna naam maha mantra that is the actual instruction of krishna naam beta that is the actual uh, glorification of krishna naam shripad 
that is the glorification of Krishna me so much that that is the actual glorification of Krishna me. You can't even understand that. That is the actual glorification of Krishna Nam. That Krishna Mantra. That is the actual uh, behavior of Krishna. Those who are actually doing the job of Krishna all the time, definitely he will get that bhav onto that Krishna Nam. We are actually, we are not, we should have faith onto the uh, instructions of Gurudev. That's why I am just getting the faith onto the instruction of my Gurudev. Mahaprabhu has just spoken this point. That without Krishna, there is no other, no kind of treasure we have apart from that. No kind of treasure. This is not a joking. This is an actual thing. That in this own infinity Brahman, there is only one Krishna Nam. That Krishna Nam Mahamantra, that is the topmost treasure in our life. Otherwise, everything is rubbish. That apart from Sri Krishna Nam, we don't have any kind of treasure for us. Any kind of treasure is not there for us. This Kali is very Taridra. This Kalikal, the Jeev of Kalikal is so much fallen that he hasn't done anything. No Yagya Vrat. If he is doing some kind of Vrat, then definitely he will get, so get into foreign country. He is just getting unconscious because he hasn't taken anything uh, inside his body. He has just done some from fasting. So that's why Mahaprabhu has just told us that all the time you just get that feeling to do Krishna Nam all the time. This Mahaprabhu has just given this realization to us. Mahaprabhu has just by his own will has just came in the front of us in the form of Nam. And those Kalikal Jeevas, they are, his, their body is so much weak and feeble that different different kind of diseases are there. And we can't even, his thinking is also very weak and his memory is also very weak. He can't even uh, remember that this is the actual thing. That's just because by the, uh, by Kalikal. So that's why Mahaprabhu has just thought that a very nice medicine we have just need to give so that they can get the divine panacea. So that all these people of Kalikal, they can get uh, rid of this uh, material things. Lot of nice, very nice kirtan of Bhakti Nautagur. This kirtan, Mahaprabhu, just by the grip of Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu knows that that in this Kalikal Jivas they are actually very weak and very fallen. Just by the actual effect of Kalikal, they are actually very much fallen and weak. That's why Mahaprabhu has told that Nam Dipya Ratna, this Nam Ratna hai Mahaprabhu has given us. This kind of Nam Roop, Nam Ratna, Harinam, like a jewel, he, they have given us this Harinam. So this Mahaprabhu has just given us, this Nam Ratna, Mahaprabhu has given us. Very nice. That Nam Ratna Mahaprabhu has given us, like so that we can do all the time Nam Sankirtan and that all kind of uh, advantages we will get out of that. That's why Mahaprabhu, by the grip of my, by the grip of Mahaprabhu, we can, we are doing all the time Krishna Nam. We are doing all the time uh, busy in Krishna Nam Sankirtan. 
and when we'll become eligible to do that uh, to do uh, the naam sankirtan all the time when we'll get that eligibility possible for them because different kind of diseases they are getting in their body and this kali kal jeev is very much fallen that's why mahaprabhu has just given this kind of top most divya ratna of naam to us and just by the kripa of mahaprabhu we just are actually asking this kind of uh, uh, thing from mahaprabhu that from slowly steadily by just doing hari naam sankirtan everything will get uh, out from our mind this kind of prayer we are actually doing in front of naam prabhu so that we can get the kripa of bhagwan that in a, this kind of situation should be there that on all the four direction there should be naam wherever where in what place we are our eyes are going everywhere we are just finding naam this kirtan is also there bhakti no thakur writing bhakti no thakur actually is speaking this point mahaprabhu bhakti no thakur has written in his book kirtan as well i definitely i'll be telling you tomorrow so what it is actually this actually bhagwan thakur has given this uh, proof that uh, mahaprabhu also told i uh, definitely i'll be talking it tomorrow when this kind of situation will come in your life that how it is possible like that when this kind of situation will come when all the four direction we are seeing naam when all the four direction and this kirtan is also like that there very nice kirtan this kirtan is there lot of kirtan are there lot of kirtan very beautiful kirtan bhakti no thakur ji has just given us a top most treasure invaluable jewel that this aprakrit jagat Mahakti Mata Thakur is giving it very cheap. So if you want to take, then okay. Otherwise, you get lost. So you can understand this point, no? So just you do this kirtan. So nice kirtan it is. very nice kirtan maya pishachi ka dodi mein that at the pishachi lap of maya who who is pishachi who will how much time you will just sleep in her lap you are not at all getting that consciousness now how much time you will just sleep in the lap of maya that pishachi maya that in order to just save you i just came here but you are actually you are you <laughs> you are actually top most no you are what you are doing you see sleeping in the lap of pashachi maya wasting time and uh, like this bhakti no thakur actually with full we have so much uh, luck we have we are so much uh, lucky that bhakti no thakur and prabhupad and shridhar maharaj so much lucky we are and apart from that if we will be we are not at all going two steps forward in the bhajan then what to do when prabodhana saraswati pad is speaking that uh, what i should do for you that uh, the flood of prem that flood of naam actually is coming in our life when uh, ma prabhu is just giving this uh, importance of naam to everyone but still nothing is happening prabodhana saraswati pad has just uh, given s- whatever is there in the heart is just uh, re- represented in front of us that everywhere in all four direction there is naam so those who are actually who are very fallen if it is not at all touching them then what to do in that 
Okay, something can be done for them? No, nothing can be done. What to do? That is the actual humble, that is the actual fallen person. Who is getting so much, uh, uh, getting so, this much of transcendental treasure. This flood is coming of the transcendental treasure. But still, he is that, that so much humble and so much uh, nakedness. His nakedness will not get over at all. He is the most fallen, definitely. He is not getting this treasure. Definitely will be uh, de dealing it with tomorrow. That about the Sikshashtakam, this uh, Mahaprabhu, this uh, Vipralambaras, we will just be uh, talking about that. That in Aprakrit Vipralamba, what is, what is there? I have already told yesterday that togetherness and separation, these are both the things are very important. Without uh, togetherness, separation is not possible and without separation, togetherness is not at all possible. In this, uh, it is not a point of Prakrit Jagat because in this material world, how we can get that? If some person, a person you are actually lost that and you are just crying for him, but that person will not come at all. So this material world, if uh, or any material object, if there is, is uh, gone, then it will not at all come in front of you. But this Aprakrit Jagat, uh, we are talking about the transcendental plane. In that transcendental plane, externally he is feeling lot of... Uh, lot of distressfulness, lot of unhappiness, but inside that Avir Baba Bhagwan is there inside his heart. Yesterday we were just uh, talking about this point, that uh, in which was to what we haven't got in our life. We have no information about that object, that uh, what is that object actually. So definitely in my life we are, we are not at all feeling any attraction for that for that object. For the devotees, they have just got that togetherness with Bhagwan. Definitely they will feel separation from Bhagwan. The Brajavasis have vipralam for Bhagwan. Oh, where is Krishna? All the time they are crying because definitely they have got togetherness. They know that what kind of treasure Krishna is. That's why they are crying. And why they are crying? Because of separation. That togetherness is also coming inside. Extern internally they are getting that togetherness with Krishna. So they those persons who haven't seen the utility of that person, haven't seen that object. So he is actually not at all mentally that he will become uh, be, uh, crying for that object. Someone actually is crying for other child. He will be just crying for his own child because he knows have that relationship with that child that he is my son. So that's why with Bhagwan also we don't have any togetherness. Milan, Milan, the actual togetherness word, this word means that when with that Nam Sankar, with that Nam, that Vani Vapu, we are not at all getting relationship with that. To get the relationship with Bhagwan and Bhagwan will give us darshan, this kind of wish should uh, be there. But we can get the togetherness with the Harinam. Prabhupada, Prabhupada also speaking that to get her, to do Harinam and to meet with Krishna is all the same. So this is the actual point. So Vipralamba in separation, this all this material, material uh, ras, material separation is, uh, there is totally unhappiness there. But in uh, a Prakrit transcendental uh, Vipralamba, there is topmost anand inside, but externally they are showing so much distressful condition. So much distressful condition externally, but inside internal topmost happiness, absolute happiness will be there. That's why Prabhupada is actually speaking in Nibrati, this kind of point Prabhupada is actually speaking. That in Aprakrit Vipralamba, that internally that Paramanand is there all the time and externally he is actually a lot of distressful, distress is there. That's why Prabhupada is actually speaking. So, whenever your Vaishnavas don't have, externally don't have behavior of uh, no money is there and they have some disease outside, but still you can see that externally it is, externally behave, with the behave, external behavior is just like it, should, it, it looks like that it is very 
uh, he is in a very distressful condition but that is the permanent sukh what is getting in his life be sure about that he is getting the top most absolute permanent in his life that vipralamb is the actual nourishment of sambhog what is the reason i have already told it yesterday also i have already told this point yesterday also if vipralamb is not there then sambhog is that togetherness is not at all possible proper speaking that vipralamb is the actual nourishment for some of sambhog then vipralamb inside vipralamb that prem ve chitra that prem is there when it is coming inside that then definitely you will get the top most absolute prem my avastha situation but it is not at all possible for material person it is not at all possible it is impossible but radharani and gopikas have that maha maha bab was there in radharani and gopikas maha bab rupani swarupini radharani there there is actually two divisions in that modan and modan there are two divisions i don't want to just uh, under, just give the explanation on up till this point because you will not understand that because mahabhav radharani is there so this vipralamb and sambhog is the vipralamb is the actual nourishment for uh, sambhog and prem vachitri you can't even you don't speak it is just like laughing where is prem vachitra radharani where is the shrimati radharani this prem vachitra is there this bramar gita is there this is not it she is actually mad in which situation we just need to go and just uh, understand this part what kind of at what position we just need to go and just this we can realize this point this is the top most thing the radharani which actually just seeing bramar and just seeing hey bramar i know you definitely are a messenger of krishna definitely you must just go out don't touch me go don't you don't want to catch my lotus feet no 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 go 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 like this actually this kind of condition is top most so top most madness sweet madness is there you can't even imagine that even birth after birth infinity birth we have can't imagine i am not at all sahajya i am actually foolish but i am not sahajya so how i can give this kind of explanation of this bramar gita so vipralamb that is actual nourishment of uh, sambhog and whatever there is prem vachitri there in this uh, in, uh, vipralamb externally uh, externally it is we are finding that this prem vachitri is definitely the object of togetherness only and in, at the time of vipralamb bhagwan shri krishna just by getting that samaran of krishna that is each and every second fraction of second that in the vipralamb time that fraction of second that uh, that all the time hari smriti is there automatically that is the actual parakashta of bhajan krishna is not at all going from our heart we are actually just want to leave krishna from our heart krikopika is actually speaking what you are speaking of the we actually want that we just want to forget krishna but you are actually speaking opposite that you does so smaran of krishna krishna is everything he is actually in an anant bhagavan krishna there is there any pathway there that we can forget krishna we are not at all get forgetting krishna you are speaking opposite gopika speaking hmm. we are, it is not at all possible to forget krishna this situation we want to get where we can forget him so this is the actually this vishay of bhajan this is very actually serious vishay definitely i want to speak upon this shlok tomorrow and definitely we will be going on the eighth shlok before that we will not go so very serious discussion is there on this vishay and it is very important to what is actually naam and by naam what we can get in our life that invaluable uh, treasure we can get so this vipralamb in this vipralamb time just to get the smaran of krishna we are just remembering krishna all the time this is the actual parakashta of bhajan that krishna vimukh those who are those nagariya the all those sahajiyas foolish people rubbish they are actually just with that kapat bhav they are just showing that and that we are getting krishna prem they are just showing that externally this is external show 
that they have got that gor nagari dal that's the proper speaking in bengali there is all the four direction there is sambhog material sambhog there is nothing else this they are actually krishna vemukh they are a worship to krishna they are actually number one fraudster they are fraudster number one they are actually just imitating that aprakrit ras they are just actually they are actually the barrier in the way of aprakrit ras but they are still thinking that that they have already got the ras but the, they are actually barrier on that aprakrit ras prabhupada has just written this prakrit ras sat doshani and i will be just speaking you will just become mad by hearing this if i'll just be going that prakrit ras sat doshani so nice prabhupada has speak, spoken there bhai sahajiya you are actually just to open a market of uh, that uh, sugar cane ras you are just opening a new market of that uh, uh, from where for up till how much point you will be just uh, uh, selling this sugar cane for prabhupad speaking what is actually you can't even imagine then all those four acharya just came in this material world you i definitely this point should be there then in our vaishnav jay ramanuj acharya jay matva acharya jay vishnu swami nimbarka acharya all these four acharyas after that baskar acharya lot of acharya have come madva acharya from the madva acharya was a lot of big big acharya have come but this prabhupad has just come in front of us after this whatever prabhupad has shown us so nobody has seen this kind of thing what prabhupad has shown even they have just make naked all those sahajiyas prabhupad has just give them their naked picture you see no bhakti is there they are all sahajiyas foolish people or fraudsters pakhandi this kind of thing nobody has done that's why prabhupad is the prabhupad the the prabhupad actually everyone is thinking him an enemy everyone is thinking that he is the topmost enemy every whole world is thinking this kind of uh, thing actually they are speaking he is actually not a devotee yes this is the actual point they are actually speaking like this because it is important to speak this actually the absolute truth if we are just uh, hiding it then apart from me nobody is the most number one fraudster apart from me this is very important to speak this absolute truth like this what to do like this so this kind of condition everywhere is there and the shlok which i have already spoken definitely definitely will be going to do that tomorrow i just forgive me today i haven't done that tanyam roop charita di sukirtananu smritva kamena rasana manasi niyajya tishtana brajit tadanunagi jaman jananugami kalam naid akhilam iti upadesha saram पांच कल्प दुर्वश्य के पास बैठ पाथी तानंग पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो